Hi there, my name is John Fish and I'm a Harvard student. I'm a freshman studying computer science and this video is going to be a day in my life. And the first thing we're doing today, it's about 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast. So Annenberg is, is Harvard's freshman dining hall and honestly it's like it's something out of Harry Potter. It's pretty cool. Okay, it's now it's now 8.15, 8.15 a.m. And my first class begins at nine, so I have like 45 minutes. I do have homework for that class that I haven't done yet, just like a little bit, like a page. So I'm gonna do that, it's Swedish. Um, and then the other thing that I like to do in my mornings is just plan out my day. So I have a growth book, is what I call it. It's like a little daily planner agenda where I write out my uh, schedule for the day, my goals, my motivation, uh, stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna do my homework and then we'll get to class. All right, so just walking you through kind of what my scheduling might look like for a day. This is my schedule for the day. You know, wake up, do some homework, go to Swedish, go to math, have some lunch, go to lecture for my CS course today. It's a guest lecture, which should be cool. Uh, then I work out, uh, do some dinner, go to work, and then go to bed, hopefully like 10 p.m. Um, that's the goal, that's one of my goals for today, is to hit nine hours of sleep. I've already meditated, which is great. Uh, I wanna read around 50 pages of my book throughout the day, and then of course, I wanna film this video. So this is a, a daily planner that, that I have personally designed and that I'm actually making. Uh, I actually just, had a company produce a bunch of them and they're going to be shipped to Amazon hopefully within the next month uh, and they'll be available on Amazon Prime and stuff like that and so if you want to buy one I definitely recommend signing up for my newsletter uh, the link for that is in my description uh, and you'll be able to uh, pick up one of these when they come out oh and check out the, the cover on that bad boy look at that ooh ooh embossed logo okay I should do my homework <laughs> All right, so off to Swedish now. Uh, it's actually like 9.02, but I'm gonna be on time because one of the interesting things about how Harvard classes work is that they all start on Harvard time, which is seven minutes past the hour, or seven minutes past when the class is supposed to start. So I'll be there on time, even though I'll probably get there at like 9.06. There's Widener Library, by the way. It's a, it's a pretty cool library. So that was an hour of Swedish. It is now 10 a.m. So I'm headed off to linear algebra. It's across campus. So I'm gonna kinda have to rush to get there in seven minutes, but usually I'm able to do it in like six or seven. So many tourists. All right, so rolling back from lunch now. I've got about an hour before my next class, which is a guest lecture. It's a computer science course, which is what the title of this video is, a computer science student, that's me. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill some time, uh, maybe start an essay, maybe work on a couple problem sets, maybe edit a video, I don't know. I've got a lot of things on my uh, to-do list. So, the lecture today is for my functional programming class, it's called CS51, um, and it's a guest lecture, which is kind of cool. He's from Jane Street, which is like an investment firm, I believe, and they use OCaml, which is like one of the only actual firms in the world or companies that uses the language, which is the language that we use, the functional programming language. So I'm really interested to hear, I don't even know what the lecture is going to be on, but I'm just, it, I've heard that it's supposed to be one of the best lectures of the year for the course. Um, so I'll actually go to this one in person. Just uh, gonna head over there in like 50 minutes, and in the meantime, probably gonna edit a video. Very cool lecture, and not just because they gave us free shirts, although that was cool too. Um, thanks, Jane Street. But just a cool lecture. Yeah, I, I thought it was actually pretty insightful in terms of just like cool like programming practices that he gave us. Um, 
things like how to write code that literally you can't express errors in, which I thought was a very interesting concept. The idea being like, you need to design your types. So OCaml is a is a typed language. Um, and when you're designing your, your custom types, doing so in a way that it is literally impossible to write invalid or to write an invalid state. Um, and the examples that I gave with that were, were really interesting. So uh, now the next thing that I have to do, I have to go work out. Uh, and I'm not allowed to talk about that on camera on my YouTube channel. So instead, here are just some cinematic shots that I took of uh, Harvard and its surrounding area. working out, time to go grab a bite to eat for dinner, and then uh, time to grind for a little bit. Okay, so it's now 7.20 p.m. and um, I've got a bunch of work to do. So what I'm gonna be working on right now is I've got a an essay that I need to be writing for tomorrow, just like a little rough draft. I don't even think it's due until tomorrow at midnight. Then I'm gonna be starting a piece set. So I have nothing really due tomorrow, which is great. Um, but I'm just gonna be be working on a bunch of different things. Okay, so the essay that I'm writing, it's it's a literature review that is based off of this book, Flow, by Mahali Chikmahali. I think that's how you say his last name, but correct me if I'm wrong. The fundamental premise of the book is how do you find happiness in a world where we really struggle to do that? It seems like everyone wants to be happy, right? But over the, the thousands of years that we've progressed, we haven't really become that much happier as people. And so the question is, well, what does make you happy? And in flow, that question is answered with the idea of meaningful work. That is, if you have a, a task that fulfills, Chick Mahali breaks it down into to eight different things, eight different categories that if a task fits, and then it's a, it's a flow activity, hence the name flow. So you can apply this to anything, and Chick Mahali applies it to an entire life, saying that if you create one goal for your entire life, and then you structure your life around that it, with goals and with sub goals and so on, then you can have one life that is just a flow experience and therefore it will be an enjoyable experience and a happy experience. Now, what I'm looking at in my essay is how do you apply that as a student to the education system? Because I believe that the education system is, well, it's pretty messed up to be honest. I feel like a lot of students are miserable and that that shouldn't be the case. Like school should be an enjoyable experience. It should be fun. And I think that you can make it fun. And I think that there's a way to do that with flow. So I'm gonna go write my essay. And then once I've written my essay, there will be a video essay component to it. That's actually part of the course, which is really cool. We go to one of the studios on campus and we film a mini TED talk. So if you're interested, I'll upload that video to this channel. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe because well, hopefully it'll be a useful video essay for you. And if not, I upload video essays every week, so I'm sure there will be something in there that you find useful. Anyways, I'm gonna go write this essay. Okay, the essay is it's going pretty well. I have been writing for about an hour. I am uh, I'm getting a little tired though, so I'm gonna change gears. I'm gonna do some math for a bit because I've got a problem set due in a couple days. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, linear algebra, some for your series, for your four years. I'm going to do some, some linear algebra. Now, another thing that I can imagine a lot of people are wondering is that for a computer science student, I didn't do a whole lot of coding today. And that's actually true. And it's kind of a factor of Harvard being a liberal arts school. So the courses that I'm taking are Swedish, Xpos, which is a writing course, linear algebra, and CS51. That's it. There's just four courses. And if you're coming from a technical college background like me, coming from Canada, where pretty much every school is a technical college and you take like eight courses a semester and they're all pretty much given to you, um, yeah, it'd be kind of ridiculous to be taking a course like Swedish or to be taking a writing course. But I kind of love it because, yes, programming is fun, but I think that Overall, the point of school is to make you develop as a person. Like you're, you're trying to make people that are better members of society. And I don't think that 
becoming only a better coder will make you a better person necessarily. I think that there's so much more to life than that. So it's like nine o'clock, well, 9.05, and I'm going to start reading and brushing my teeth and getting ready for bed because I try and be in bed for 10 o'clock because nine hours of sleep, waking up at seven, just gotta go to bed early. But before I head to bed, I'd like to talk to you about the sponsor of this video. As a computer science student, sometimes 